If you work on PyTest or if you're learning PyTest, which is the most popular framework for Python, markers are one of the most important things you need to know. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about markers and I'm going to create a few other videos about it. So there are two kinds of markers. There are some that are built in that come with PyTest and there are custom ones. In this case, we're going to talk about custom ones. So markers are something, it's a decorator you add on top of the, the function that will help you identify that particular function or that particular test. In this case, for this test, I have an ID and smoke attached to it. Let's just look at those two here. So usually you wanna have your test cases in a test case management system where you have IDs. The test case management system creates IDs for you and you wanna keep your test cases and your automation in sync. Now the way you do that is you add IDs to your automation. The ID already exists. You wanna add it to your automation. In that case, you just, you can use markers. So in this case, this test case, this is a invalid uh, credit cr credentials login test. It is an ID of six. So I added a marker test case ID six. So the way you add it is at pytest.mark dot whatever you want. No special characters. Now, when I want to run specifically this test, I can just tell pytest, hey, run this test here. So I'm going to copy the name. I'm just going to do pytest dash M, the marker. M stands for marker dash M. I, I believe you can do dash dash marker, but that's for something for you to investigate. I always use dash M marker and the, give it the id hit enter it would run that particular test out of all the tests you have it's going to run specifically just that one so it's a way for you to specify a particular test you can use the dash k and then use the name but the id is much more efficient in my opinion in my experience another example would be you want to identify smoke tests and the way i, I look at things every test is regression and then a subset of that is smoke. Just few tests are smoke. So I choose whichever ones are meant to be smoke tests. And I'll add um, a, a, a marker called smoke instead of creating its own file and stuff. So if I want to run all smoke tests, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to do pytest-m smoke. And I'm going to do collect only. Collect only so it won't run everything. So it, it found four of them out of the 47 tests that exist. So that's how you use markers. The only thing you have to know is when you use markers like that, you're going to get a bunch of warnings because PyTest says, hey, I don't know what this is. You're using a marker you never registered. So it's going to get a bunch of warnings like this. Even though I just ran ID6, it's going to complain about all the markers that it found in the framework. So one way to get around that is to register. You just go to PyTest data and I, and out of the list of markers, you could register that ID. But that's not realistic because you're going to have thousands of tests you're not gonna register thousands of IDs. So I'll give you homework to look into how you should be dealing with that. I'll also create another video on that.